How's it going everyone? I'm back again with another Final Fantasy XIV version 1.0 uh, video. I don't want to call it a guide because it's probably not going to work, but this time I have already built the server for you, so this will be a quick guide. Um, it'll be faster than the, the previous one. Um, you will want 7-zip or WinRAR, so you can go to your internet and search those, um, or something that will just open a 7-z file. Um, I have the server zipped up, so, and I will also have a link in the description to where you can download the server. Um, but anyways, anyways, once you have that downloaded, just uh, right click on it and extract it with 7-zip or WinRAR, whichever, um, and extract that to your desktop or wherever you want to. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to go pretty quick with this just to make the video short okay after you have your folder extracted uh, open it up you're going to have three apps in there you're going to have Heidi SQL, 7th Umbra Launcher and WAMP uh, I saved you guys from having to download them so just install all three of them and use the default installation you can uncheck launch Heidi SQL uh, if you want you don't have to launch it right now 7th uh, Umbra Launcher just use the default installation for the 7th Umbra Launcher 2 and WAMP And right here, it's going to ask you where to install it. Uh, again, just use the default if you want. But remember where you installed it. Installed it, so it'll be C drive for this video. <clears throat> and while that's doing that, I'm going to go to my search bar and search for my seventh Umbral launcher. And I'm going to right-click that. And then I'm going to open my file location. And there's a shortcut right there. I'm going to drag that shortcut to my desktop just to make things easier for me down the road and I'm going to close that installing all the programs takes the longest and installing Final Fantasy 14. Hopefully you guys have that already installed. That will help. Okay, it's going to ask me if I want to change browsers. I'm just going to say no. Do I want to change from Notepad to something else? I'm going to say no. Press next, press finish. And now what we want to do is uh, launch your WAMP server. you're gonna see a bunch of black boxes pop up that's normal and you'll see that it's a uh, loading right there in the bottom right with the red W <clears throat> and when it turns green it is ready to go okay when it's green uh, just go down and click the W and uh, it'll bring up a box and then go to MySQL and then my.ini. Now you're going to want to scroll down until you find this SQL mode uh, strict all tables error thing. And when you find that you're going to want to then open the project meteor folder and go to this install text that I made. Uh, 
I tried to make some instructions that's probably really bad but um, this open the install text and go down to where you see the these weird little arrows I tried to make and you'll see the SQL mode strict the same thing uh, that's over here in the my I and I right there but instead of copying this big one right here you're gonna want to come uh, you'll go down right underneath it and copy this small one and then you're gonna go back to your I and I and highlight that whole line and paste the short one there okay. make sure you put the semicolon back or whatever that is and then when you do press file and then hit save and then you can close that and if you want to close this install text you can if not this just minimize it I'm gonna minimize it because we'll use it again um, next you're gonna to want to reopen your project media folder and now go back to the project media folder again and then go to your data folder and then to your WW folder and then to your login underscore SU folder and in here you're gonna to want to press control A and copy every single file so copy all of them and next you want to go find your wamp install which in my case is in the C drive so I'm gonna click C and find my wamp64 and open that and then go to my WW folder and in this folder you're gonna to want to paste all of those files you just copied it will ask you to replace just replace and after that you are done with that now you want to open Heidi SQL uh, there shouldn't be anything right here um, so just click new and they will bring up a new session you can leave it as unnamed uh, you don't need to change the root the root username or password just leave it blank um, or as it is I mean and press open and where it says unnamed at the top left right click it click uh, put a uh, highlight the uh, create new and then go over to database and for the name type in ffxiv underscore server press ok next you want to click ffxiv server and then go to file <clears throat> then click run uh, run sql file and um, you're going to want to navigate back to your desktop wherever your project meteor folder is extracted uh, in my case it's the desktop so uh, open your project meteor folder and then open your project meteor folder <laughs> and then go to your data folder and then open your sql folder and you're going to see a lot of sql files in here uh, just click in there and then press Control a to copy or i mean to highlight all of them and press open it will ask you to confirm and then just press yes this will take a few minutes okay we're back so now I am going to go up here and click the refresh button to make sure everything is in there and it is so now you can close Heidi SQL and technically your server should work but let's do one thing first go down here and uh, left click on your green W and then restart all services I think the guide said to do that but I can't remember now we can test the server so open your project meteor and open your project meteor again and I made three shortcuts for the lobby the map and the world open the world last but start with the lobby if you want it may ask you to allow uh, access through the Windows firewall just press OK or yes and then open the map and same thing probably get a firewall warning just let it go through and uh, I would wait for a couple of seconds and then open the world server if you open it too quick you'll get a yellow error right here 
and you'll have to close it and open it again or you, well I suggest you do that but all three servers are working now um, you have to have wamp running or the server won't work and you have to have wamp running or you can't get into Heidi SQL um, it won't open if you uh, don't have wamp running <clears throat> so the server is done now next you want to have Final Fantasy 14 installed um, so if you don't have that installed go ahead and install it and now that you have it installed um, what you want to do is uh, open your seventh umbra launcher and it should detect that your game is not updated and it will ask you to update and it will give you uh, some patches to download and by default they should be uh, installed to your documents under FFXIB patches um, you can set the directory to wherever you want but um, I've already got them installed and updated the game so that's why it's not showing on my side um, but after you get the patches downloaded and installed uh, you can close that box and you can close the launcher <clears throat> and then you're going to want to go to your 7th Umbral Launcher desktop icon and right click that and uh, you're going to find a servers.xml and you're going to want to drag that to the desktop just press continue and um, then you're going to want to go back to the install text in the in the project media folder so if you close that reopen it and uh, you're going to want to copy from servers down to servers so highlight that and copy that and then next you're gonna head over to the servers.xml you put on the desktop and right click that and then edit it and choose notepad if it asks and then just highlight all of that and paste paste the server that you just copied all this server stuff into the servers.xml and then click file and then save it and close it then you can minimize the install text and now you want to drag your servers.xml back into your 7th umbral folder just press continue <clears throat> and um, after that you are going to want to go back to the install text and go to the very bottom and you're going to see a website it's not really a website but you'll see this HTTP localhost create uh, user.php uh, highlight it all the way to the PHP and copy it and then go to your internet and put it in your address bar copy that link or paste it in there it's offline so it's not gonna it's not it's not going to a website but put it in and press enter and it will create uh, it'll allow you to create a username and you can put whatever you want I'm just gonna put AAA AAA uh, AAA and you can put whatever email you want in there uh, just put a fake email uh, you have to do it so you can use uh, one at one dot com or whatever you want that's what I use then this hit create and it says you have successfully created a an account basically so now you can cl close that window and at this point make sure your servers are running and WAMP is open and then you're going to want to uh, open your 7th umbral launcher and uh, you're going to want to head over down here to the servers and then click the arrow and change it to localhost Let's try that again there we go I was waiting for something to happen you need to see this uh, username and password screen I don't know why it wasn't showing up before but um, 
Yeah, just head down here and click local host, I guess. I'll do that one more time. Yeah, that's weird. Just click down on the bottom and click local host. And uh, then put in your username and, whoops, your username and your password. Well, that took it long enough. But anyways, guys, that is how you do it. Thanks for watching. I forgot to mention, if you guys launch the game and it pretty much crashes immediately, uh, your computer may have more than 16 cores on it. And uh, I don't think Final Fantasy XIV likes that. Um, but what you can try is to adjust your affinity. So you can open the 7th Umbra Launcher. And then you can press... Uh, control shift escape and then go to details and scroll down to scroll down to launcher and right click it and then set your affinity and put it to like 14 or something or 7 I don't know just you try whatever I guess and then click OK and try to log in if it still crashes um, you can try some external launchers. I'll put them in the description. Um, you can try this FX, FFXIV Meteor Launcher. Um, someone in the Discord actually made this, and uh, I, I assume it works. I, I tried it myself, but I was unable to make it work. I don't know how to do it. Um, but you're you're welcome to try it. Uh, you can just come over here to the Release button and click that, and uh, Download the zip, or if you know anything about coding, you can uh, check the source code and see if you need to change anything there. But you'll have to rebuild it in probably Visual Studio. Um, but yeah, you can try that one, or you can try this uh, Zachmon uh, Seventh Umbral Launcher as well. And you can download it right there, or you can clone it with a uh, Git clone here. Um, but yes, I've tried both. I was unable to get them to work. Uh, so hopefully you won't have to do this, but I just thought I would add that. Anyways, I will put these links in the description too. Um, but yeah, take care guys.